very good welcome, please, to Flo Heiss, who's not the founder, but absolutely, what, the director, the major person of the whole place. It, this is Dare Digital, Flo Heiss, big. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, um, we're, we're a, um, a digital marketing agency. I'm the creative director. Oh, ah, yeah, and I'm, uh, according to this, I'm not a doctor as well, so that's a typo on my thing, so go. So, um, by my funny accent, you can tell that I'm German, so this is where I come from. Uh, this is through the years, a very beautiful place in the southern part of Bavaria, in the deepest mountains, a place called Murnau. Uh, quite famous for the art that's been created there. A chap called Kandinsky did some paintings there um, in the early um, last century. Uh, very, very beautiful place. Uh, art quite good. Um, people actually do wear lederhosen there. I have never worn a pair of lederhosen. This is a very special pair of lederhosen. It's got an MP3 player built into it. Uh, quite interesting interactive kind of thing, quite, quite like that. I think that was before Nike Plus, so I think that's better than Nike Plus actually. Um, the interesting thing about where I come from is, as I say, there's a lot of art there, and this is all the stuff that we're doing it there. A lot of the um, um, interactive digital advertising and marketing that we do, but I'm not going to talk about this at all. I'm not going to show you some case studies. What I want to show you to tonight is the stuff that inspires me and the stuff that I do outside of work that informs my, my work in some way, I think, I hope. So um, I don't actually like advertising. Uh, th this is um, a thing that campaign do. Uh, it's called the A-list, where you have an entry once, once a year, and they ask why are you good at what you do, and I say, oh, because I don't like advertising. Um, Obviously, I do advertising, so I'm kind of a split personality, I think, so I do like advertising. I do like art, you know, it's sort of, what is it? This is one of my um, bugbears. Sometimes I'm okay with this, sometimes I'm not okay with this. This is a very fantastic ad um, done by Wyden and Kennedy called Cork for Honda. This is the original from 10 years or 20 years ago by a, a Swiss artist duo called Fischli and Weiss called The Way Things Go. I change my opinion on this on a daily basis. At the moment, I think it's cool. But is there such a thing as um, art advertising? I found this it's brilliant, brilliant pun. Uh, and as I say, I'm kind of a split person, so that's my advertising personality here. Um, in Miami, in a pool. And this is me as, as an artist, doing all sorts of different things. And so what is it? So um, I came across this thing. Uh, by a chap called Brian Eno, who I'm a big fan of, and he talks about pretension. And pretension is a dismissive name given to people's attempts to be something other than they, are, than they really are. It's vilified in England, particularly because we are so suspicious of people trying to rise above their station. He goes on and talks about it. That is actually cool, you know? Be pretentious, try something. It's from this book, which I have read lots of times, you can probably tell, brilliant book. Um, I met him at the Royal College of Art. I had the pleasure of having a, a tutorial with him. And I went, so I'm all this kind of stuff. I'm an artist, I make installations, I do digital stuff, I do advertising, I don't like it, what, who am I? And he said, I don't, I don't care. No one cares, stop caring. So I stopped caring. So this is all the stuff I'm doing. This is uh, a project that's ongoing. I use my mobile phone to do a lot of drawings on it. So it's a mini Photoshop on, on, on my mobile phone where you can use a stylus and you do lots and lots of drawings. So I do this all the time, millions and millions and millions of it. Um, and then one day someone approached me out of a gallery and said, hey, I've seen your drawings, kind of cool. Do you want an exhibition? Um, so um, that's what I did. I did big um, screen prints. And uh, yeah, I don't know if they, what well, they are, but they're kind of interesting. So it's digital coming back into the real world, pixelated drawings exhibited. This is my embarrassing dad picture, my son. Uh, we <laughs> I had to have him in. We got the paints out one day in the garden and had a lot of fun mucking around with paint. And I thought, oh, that's quite cool. So I took some close-up pictures of what we did. Um, yeah, he, he didn't like that so much. Uh, zooming into this, and I mucked around with it in Photoshop, and I, I thought, that's quite interesting. Changed the colors a bit, and um, Sony somehow saw this, and they thought, oh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, looks cool. Do you want to have this on our Bravia screen? So now this is being shipped with five million Bravia screens, the new ones that are coming out from Japan. Every single one will have my son's painting on it. Kind of interesting. Uh, another project that I did is one day I watched Rocky II, and I thought, I'd quite like to see Rocky two, um, three and four as well. So I thought, what would happen if I actually put Rocky two, three, and four 
over the top of each other and watch them at the same time. So th this is very interesting. I did the same thing with Jaws as well. So Jaws 2 and 3 and 4. Another thing I'm doing, and this is sort of in, in, informing my work, is I, I love Twitter. This is a, um, a site where you can talk about stuff and tell people what you're doing. I always think that if Andy Warhol was still alive, he would be doing something interesting with, with the internet. So I'm doing, um, this is a book that I have, diaries, it's that fat, never read it. I'm doing an um, update on Twitter every day, a random thing from Andy Warhol. You can tell I never re um, rehearsed this, so I'm, I'm behind. This is something else I'm doing called Lonely Drinks. I'm collecting bottles and things and cans on Flickr that are lonely, so this is in Florence, and other people are, can contribute to that. So, a sad state of affairs for lonely drinks. Um, I have a thing about giant squids. Um, I collect things about, um, with giant squids. This is a cuddly toy, giant squid cuddly toy that I found in Barcelona Airport. Never seen one. Brilliant. People send me giant squid facts from around the world. Um, and I've somehow now become a giant squid personality on the internet. Going a bit more serious for a minute, this is our chairman, John Bartle, who founded um, BBH in the 80s. He's there as chairman, um, a very cool guy. He always asks me, so how do you stay in touch, know about this stuff that you're doing? How, how do you kind of find out about new things? And the answer is, it's a lot of knowing people. It's, it's about for friendship, and I think this is something in, in digital that's quite unique. So th this is a group called Creative Social. And we restaged the um, last supper and tried to. These are all digital creative directors. I'm, I'm here. Uh, this is a chap called Chris Clark. He's, um, he's Jesus. But also, um, we're having a lot of fun. That's a rare view behind the scenes of how the DNA judging actually works. So we are having a fight out who, um, who's going to get a black pencil and who isn't. I think, I think I'm winning my, my, my argument. Uh, these are all good and great from digital. So you can find all this stuff on my website. Thank you.